Hello, I wanted to give a quick introduction to the WinWing Sim App Pro, specifically for the Orion setup. Once you get to this screen right here, if you have both, both your Orion joystick and throttle plugged in, you'll see each one of them showing up here. If you click on one of the devices, you'll see it show up, and if you move the device around, you can see the axis moving around, the switches, first detent, the switches being hit, all the stuff like that. You can go in and calibrate the axis right here. It's pretty straightforward for the joystick. I wanted to spend a little bit of time on the actual throttle since it's a little bit trickier. So the throttle here, you have all of the switches. See, I'm moving that one all the different switches. You can change this to switch, I mean, you sure you've seen other videos, you can change this to a switch mode if you want. Um, what I wanna talk about is the throttle real quick, how to calibrate it. So if you look right here, I'm, as I'm moving it up and down, I'm moving into afterburner right here. And then I come down, I, you'll see this light up, I'm moving into turning off the throttle. So when you go to when you go to calibrate this, I'm gonna to go to calibrate, and you'll if you look up here to the right, you can see which axis it is moving. It's actually the orange one, RX, that's moving here. And the left throttle is RY that's moving. If you go calibrate over here, when you go to calibrate, sorry. So if you wanna go calibrate the RX, select RX, start calibration, and you move all the way down, but do not go do not go past the detent in the down position. If you do, let me show you what happens. Complete calibration, go back over here to test it. And if I go down to all the way down, notice this light doesn't light up anymore. It's taken that switch out of the equation. So I'm gonna go back in and recalibrate this without going into that bottom detent. Afterburner, down but not all the way. Go through afterburner, go down. And go back here now, there's afterburner. And if I go down, notice the switch is working again. Okay, so that's that. The other tricky one is the uh, axis on the right hand throttle if you it comes default in this joystick mode you have to switch it to switch mode for it actually to work correctly if you want to use it for the target designate just a little standard four-way plus a push button so switch it to switch mode and then it'll work the way you want it to in the game okay so that's that's pretty much how you go through the calibration if you want to do key bindings, you have to be logged into the game. Notice I'm logged in over here. Hit this little uh, wheel over here and you'll see that it's found your game. I just have the regular old DC world enabled here. So that it found that automatically for me. If you guys have open beta, I don't know, maybe it'll find it, maybe it won't. If not, just put it in there. But this found it automatically for me. Now, if I go up here and go to key binding, you have to be logged in for this to show up. So up here you have the different devices, right? So I have the joystick and the throttle, and you can go down and download Win Wings, or other people have made some. Mine, I, I, I actually set one up for joystick and set one up for throttle. You can probably d download mine. It's called Russell M. Um, it's probably pretty good. The other ones um, had a few little issues, so I created one, and I think it's probably okay. So if you download it, hit the little download button over here. I already have it over here, but you hit the little download button here. It'll come over here, and then you basically just run it, and then it'll go out and create a file for you in the FA18 uh, save game input directory for joystick. And then go do the same thing for throttle. There's a bunch of people who made throttle ones, and 
if my, if if mine isn't in yours, I don't know. I, I upload it to the cloud, so it should be there for you too. If mine isn't there, just download Win Wings or one of the other ones and start from there. So if you select mine and hit download, and then you hit and it'll come over here and then you hit run, it'll set it up. And so you'll have those two set up for the F A eighteen. And that's pretty much it from there. And then if you go start the game. And you go into controls, go over to the throttle. I'm hitting the little um, flap button. You can see I have it set there. I have the parking set. The If you go over to axis, scroll down. There's the right, I'm doing the right throttle here. That's going into afterburner. That's shutting it off. Afterburner. Shutting it off. Notice how that's not quite down all the way. I probably need to adjust that a little bit more since I messed with it. So that's there. And then go back to all. And there's my little hat for target designator. Now, this wasn't working for me before until I turned it into a switch like I showed you. But now it's working. And then if you go over to joystick, go over to Axie command for joystick, and you have your little access commands, and then go back to all, and you have your trim switches, sensor control switches, weapon release, Gun trigger, second to tent. That's pushing it all the way down. Arming. And that's pretty much it. So that's it. Hopefully that'll help you guys get through it if you're doing it for the first time. Thanks.